Well, it's time for Bring It On. We've got it some is. email questions for you. Uh, what's the first one? The first one is from Nina, who says, My parents divorced when I was a baby, and my father told my mom he would kill me. Even though he went to jail, I still carry that fear and rejection, even as an adult. How can God help me work past my hurt? Um, Nina, I'm sorry your mom let you know that. Um, but now that you know it, uh, you've got to realize that your father had other issues going on that were completely unrelated to you. Uh, you're just a baby. For any adult to say they want to kill a baby is just unimaginable. Uh, so there were things driving him that had literally had nothing to do with you. Now, the good news is uh, you can be reparented, uh, and you can go through that whole process again and start realizing who really raised you. You know, Dad was off in jail. Who kept you safe? Who made sure that never happened to you? Well, your Heavenly Father did. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Um, I'm, I'm really realizing how much he wants to be a father to all his children, how he so dearly cherishes us. He cherishes every word that we have for him, and he wants to spend time with us. So do that. You know, Jesus gave us the great revelation of our father, and so realize that that's a privilege. We get to go to our father and just ask him the simple question, Daddy, I want to know how you protected me when I was growing up. And as he starts to reveal that to you, you'll find a resource of love and acceptance that's infinite. So do it and pray for it. He'll give it to you. Okay, this is Diane who says, At church, I see people with tears streaming down their faces as they pray for other people and their burdens. How can I learn to pray with that kind of passion? Uh, Diane, passion isn't learned. Um, you know, that, that kind of passion is not learned. It's, it's a gift. Um, start asking God to, to reveal his heart. You know, when, when you say, Lord, what breaks your heart? What, what's on your heart? What, what, what's of concern to you? Uh, there, there's something transformational that happens, and he'll give it to you. When, you. when you seek, you'll find it. When you knock, it'll be opened. And when you ask, he'll give it to you. Mm -hmm. And so ask for his heart, uh, and you start finding un unusual things. You'll be like Terry, and you'll go on a great God adventure <laughs> and want to become the mother to the world. And, you know, you'll, you'll, your heart will be broken with a number of people that don't know him. That have, that have needs. And w when that grips you, um, it, there, there's nothing else like it. So pray for it, ask for it. That kind of prayer is called intercession, and we have more information on intercession on our website. If you go to CBN.com, just click on the Bring It On Extra link, and you'll find it there. I don't know if we have time for any more. I oh, think, that's right. okay, this is Cecilia. There's a woman at our church who thinks we should be best friends. I don't want to brush her off. She's very insecure and needs a lot of affirmation. I work and have a family to take care of. Am I being unloving if I keep our relationship as just friends? No, I think it's fine to create boundaries. Uh, one of the few things we get to choose in life is our friends. And you especially get to choose your best friends. And Jesus even did that. He chose particular disciples, John, Peter. Uh, to be the closest to him. And so you can do the same thing. We leave you with these words from Philippians. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. God bless you. We'll see you again.